Hello my strong strong friends. Uh, today we're gonna do a video all about belts. I'm gonna answer every question that you've ever had about belts, hopefully in under five minutes. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I'm Meg, Meg Squats, and I make videos about powerlifting, about strength training, about fitness. I try different workouts. Subscribe, you're gonna love it. And every Friday, we have a five minute Friday where I answer some of your questions. Comment down below uh, if you have a specific thing that you're wondering about that I can answer in next week's video. And let me know what you think about this one and if you have any additional questions. I answer all of the questions and I respond to all of the comments within the first hour of my posting. And most of them, I try to get to most of them within the first 24 hours. So if you have anything, uh, comment and I'll respond. Unless you say something rude. Okay, all about belts, what you need to know about belts. First things first, if you're a brand new lifter, do not worry about a belt. Learn how to lift beltless. Start beltless, train with no belt, learn how to properly execute the form, properly set up your form before you incorporate essentially any equipment. Um, just learn how to do it first without a belt. First question answered. Now, once you are ready to start incorporating a belt, realize that a belt is there to enhance your performance. We can lift more with belts for the most part. We can lift more weight with a belt. That is not to say that you should neglect all beltless training. You should periodize your program to where you can incorporate not specific movements to your sport in other parts of training. So um, you can get the uh, similar stimulus without a belt with less weight. So have periods of your training where you are training your beltless. Now, there are no real studies or athletic studies, I believe, that have shown that beltless training has resulted in a higher belted squat. So keep that in mind. It's not necessarily proven that beltless training is like a huge deal. But it is very, very, very important that you know that a belt is not there to fix your form and a belt is not there to like make your form. You should know how to properly brace before you incorporate any belted training. A belt will help you increase intra-abdominal pressure and also increase the rigidity of your spine. Those are two things that you can do without a belt and you should know how to do without a belt before you start going on the like belt rabbit hole and go nuts and get something like this. Now, there are a ton of different belts that you can get. You can go from one end of the spectrum, something nice and light and not so crazy thick, or you can be a power lifter and you can get, uh, this isn't even the thickest you can get, you can get a 10 millimeter uh, thick, yeah, 10 millimeter thick, four inch wide double prong belt. Now. I would recommend to maybe start with something a little lightweight. This is a version of Velcro belt. You can find these on Amazon. Uh, this is a version that we have from, from Strong Strong Supply. Not yet available. We're still working this out to make it perfect for you guys. Um, but yeah, something like this will be a good starter belt before you get into this. When you're deciding what size and fit to get, there are a couple things you want to consider. Make sure it is competition legal if you plan on competing with it, um, but you do want to think about how it fits on your torso. Um, this is a four inch belt and I probably only have about four inches between my last rib and the top of my pelvis. So this belt just fits perfectly right there. You do not want it to be too, too tight whenever you're putting the belt on. You want to make sure, this is probably still too tight, you can fit about your hand in. Uh, also, you don't want it to be too loose. This comes with if you don't know how to properly brace. If you're deadlifting and you have space in between to where you can't breathe and there's still space, then you're not using the belt. Um, usually people who aren't wearing their belt properly do not know how to brace. They do not understand that the belt is there to provide some actual physical feedback uh, to let you know that you're bracing properly. A lesson on bracing properly will not fit in this video, but I'm gonna leave a couple links down below. Essentially, what you're doing is just breathing into your intra-abdominal wall instead of breathing into your chest. 
you're not breathing, raising the shoulders, you're breathing, expanding your stomach. There are a ton of videos on this. I'm going to link them down below. Uh, maybe in next, next week's five minute Friday, I can explain a little bit more. Uh, yeah, that's the end of this video. I hope it's under five minutes. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to do that. And if you enjoyed this, found any of this information helpful, uh, make sure you hit the like button and let me know, uh, comment down below what you want to see next week and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, and last thing, I don't know if this is gonna be under five minutes. Um, one Strong Bitch, these t-shirts are gonna be available on Tuesday, next Tuesday for you guys, and these Strong Strong Supply hats will also be available on Tuesday the 27th. So Tuesday, March 27th, everything is available. We got a bunch of new products. Um, we also have One Strong Bitch in a black tee as well. If you're offended by the term bitch, don't worry. You don't have to buy it. Bye, guys.